What is going on fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button because today I'll be teaching you how to get five gold bars in Red Dead Redemption 2 with one easy mission. It's super fun. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. First thing you want to do is open up your map and head straight to this location right below Horseshoe Overlook. Now, this spot was used by a lot of you to, I guess, duplicate gold bars. I'm not really sure what's going on with the whole duplication and cheating trend right now in Red Dead Redemption 2. Personally, it's not my thing. I even asked you guys in a former video what your thoughts were. A lot of you guys don't think it's, like, right to do just because, well, it's a single-player game. But regardless, you want to head on over to the jail of this area. This whole place is burned down, as you can see. But there's one location you want to go inside and get a map. But you have to find the two dead bodies. So let's go and find these two dead bodies first. Now, I'm like 99% sure that all the stuff we want to loot is in that big building over there. But just to be safe, I want to make sure there's nothing else here we can loot. Maybe something in the in the toilet nope nothing in the toilet i believe that everything in here has been burnt to a crisp but i wanted to make sure there's nothing extra here you have some uh tracks of some rats it looks like anything upstairs nothing all right well the location you have to go to in this specific area is the only building left standing and that's the jail cell for the sheriff's office and that's this building right here now before we go inside this jail to get the map i want to quickly let you guys know about the sixth gold bar amongst this little scavenger hunt i think it's six i'm pretty sure it's six total you have to go to the sheriff's office and you know how earlier we were looking for stuff in the other places that didn't have anything well guess what guys behind this desk right here we're gonna find ourselves a little uh little lock box now this mysterious lock box comes at no extra cost to you guys but of course if you do enjoy the video and you like what you see drop it a like right now because the video's just beginning all right this is one gold bar just one out of six about to get intense dudes We'll strap in. I have to go inside and inside. I guess no one really cared to let these people out when the whole place burned. So they literally just were burned alive, which is really sad if you think about it. Now, in between these two dead bodies on the left side, it'll be a jail cell that's open. And somehow it'll be a map that wasn't even bought like no, nothing happened to it. It's just here. Now, this map is Le Treasure de Mort. Whatever that means. I think it's Treasure of the Dead. Pretty sure. I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but I think that's what it means. As a whole, there's nothing else really here. Uh, just this treasure map. And uh, it looks like... Actually, this is the only building that wasn't burned down. Okay, so it looks like the whole town died through a fire. And then the prisoners just had to listen to everyone die. That's super dark. That's, like, really weird, but... Let's open up this treasure map. This map clearly showcases something that I am pretty familiar with. If you guys see on the top, we have some boats, some water. Then it moves down to some kind of like cellar area. And then we're underground, it looks like. Now, the biggest giveaway for this treasure map right here is the fact that there are like tracks in a town. The only place like this to have tracks in a town with water near it and boats is St. Denise. And in my inventory, I have 12 gold bars. I'm rolling in the bars. And I got, what the? I got max nuggets? No, I need, I can get two more nuggets. I have so much stuff I can sell. Like someone in the comment section, let me know down below, how much money do you think my current valuables section is worth? Give me like a, a solid number of how much you think I would make if I sold everything in my inventory. I'm thinking easily over, uh, let's see, easily over 5,800, 5,800, somewhere around there. That's my, that's my guess. You guys do the math. Let me know. It's going to be interesting what you guys come up with. So one thing I know is the best way to, uh, get to St. Denise from where we are is just travel up to Valentine really quickly. You guys can see my maps right here. Travel to Valentine from this area. Once you do that, then you are able to just stagecoach all the way to St. Denise. Or you could run it if you're that short on cash. But if you guys have seen my other treasure guides, then you should be okay. So we've arrived in St. Denis. Now, I know what you're thinking. Garrett, you've changed your wardrobe. Yes, I have. I had to get a little spiffy. I had to fill it in with the locals because as you guys know, I'm pretty ugly. I, I get I get a lot of comments that say, Garrett, turn off your face cam. You are so ugly. And I'm like, whoa, holy 
That's so rude, but it's okay. I understand a lot of you guys are sexually attracted to me and you can't hold back your compulsions to have sex with me. But listen, once you get to St. Denis, you want to go over to the Cornwall Great Station. Now, it's right here on the map, as you guys can see, where my location is. And a lot of you guys get really mad that I don't put the red marker down. So I'm going to put it down just so you can see where it is. There's a stable. Just come on down right here. And once you go on down this little road, you want to go ahead. There, there's me saying go ahead. Run down this path right on the tracks. Now, once you run down these tracks, you will see this area right here. Now, I know what you're thinking, Garrett. I've never been here in my life. Well, don't worry. We're going places you've never been together. Welcome to my channel. Hit that subscribe button while you're at it. And turn on the little bell. That bell is so important. I don't understand it. But regardless, once you go ahead and get over to this location, you have to simply go down these steps now you could walk down there all cool and classy but for the sake of this video i'm gonna speed up a little bit because i let me tell you not only do you guys get upset that i'm ugly you also complain that my videos are way too enjoyable and that i am too good at making my videos lengthy i've always been able to make my videos last i've always been able to last long hmm well, this is getting incredibly awkward. I'm just gonna search this uh, this thing here. As you guys can see, there's a search. Where is this thing? It's freaking right here somewhere. Like underneath right here. Like underneath one of these. There we go. It's like right past this lamp. Once you get past the lamp, you just wanna search. Yeah, I knew it. Guys, I knew it was on the wall. There it is. Found it. Uh huh. And look at that. We got some money with it. 30 bucks. We got. Now, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I know you're like, Garrett, did you just clickbait me to get $30? Is that it? No, don't leave yet. I promise I did not clickbait you. We're still, we're still in it. All right, we're still doing the treasure, the guide. We're still hunting it. The last treasure is a riddle and it reads, where the floods rise up, but the dead stay dry and the color light falls when the sun's in the sky. There to your left, you'll find our wealth. It's no good to us without our health. Now, you're, you're, you're wondering, Garrett, where is this place? I have no idea. My brain's not working, and I really enjoy your videos, and that's why I subscribe. I know exactly where it is. Now, to go on this endeavor, and if you watch this far, you have to let me know in the comment section, what is your favorite thing about Red Dead Redemption 2? Because lately, I've been playing a lot, of course, over like 15 hours a day now. And, uh... And I've really been enjoying the free roam. Don't judge me, all right, guys? Sorry, I'm in the wrong... Sorry, uh, those guys are looking at me funny. I've been really enjoying the free roam. I mean, it's like one of my favorite things to do. And I bet a lot of you guys have gone ahead and skipped past this little commentary that I'm adding. But I want to let you guys know, those of you guys are still here. If you're watching this and you're wondering, hmm, Garrett, I went to the beginning area. I tried finding the map and it wasn't there. Well, I purposely didn't let you know that at the beginning, that in order to find this treasure map, you need to either have pre-ordered the game or have been a special edition purchaser of Red Dead Redemption 2. Now you're wondering, Carrot, why did you do this to me? Well, be, well, because I gotta eat, dude. I gotta, I gotta pay my bills. And if you would have clicked away super fast, then, then you would have never known about this treasure. So it's a win-win for both of us. Actually, more win for me. You, you sort of like lost a lot of time. It's okay though. There'll be, a, there's more guides in the channel that that can make you money. I promise. Next spot you want to head to is the cemetery in St. Denis. Now, of course, wealth is useless if you're dead. If you guys didn't know, when you die, you can't spend that money. You can't take the money with you to wherever you go. I don't know what you believe in, but, you know, if you, wherever you go, you can't take your money with you. So, these guys that had this treasure ended up dying. But, in order to make use of their money, they've gone ahead and stashed it. Now, I know what you're thinking, Garrett. You didn't say go ahead. You said gone ahead. That's right. That's right. That is correct. Now, after entering. Shit. I never thought nobody would catch me with that fat lady. <laughs> okay. Anyways, after entering the cemetery, you want to go to this big building. The one with the cross on top. And you want to go inside. Now, you don't have to really, like, break inside like I did. Like, that's just rude. You could just, like, walk in. But you might need a flashlight, of course. I don't have a flashlight. I don't have a, I don't have a lantern. I gotta get my horse over here. Well, now that I've arrived with the world's largest uh, flashlight, I am now going to enter inside of this mausoleum, I think they're called. And right away, we have a notification to examine the wall. It's actually this wall right here. 
Now, behind this wall, we should find some gold bars. Before we find them, there is some things in the area you want to pick up, like the cigarette card. And oh my goodness, dudes. I'm on my way to collecting almost all the cigarette cards, as you guys can see from this famous Gunslinger's card set. I have six of 12. 50%, baby. So I've gone ahead and changed my attire again, uh, just so that we can get really good lighting. You guys can clearly see what we're working with here. We're going to examine this wall. Now, being in here, you can hear it just barely. This wall is hollow on the other side. Behind this wall is some good loot. Check it out. Ooh. Ooh, one. I told you, dudes. I freaking told you. Six gold bars from this wall. Not only did we get six gold bars, we also got one in the beginning of the video. That's seven gold bars. This is the only money-making guide you guys need. Oh my freaking God. Woo, woo. I am the best freaking Red Dead Redemption 2 YouTuber. Hands down, teaching you guys about all the money in Red Dead Redemption 2, this, this hole. My God, my goodness. If you enjoy this video, do me that favor, drop the video like. If it helped you and you enjoy Red Dead Redemption 2, tips and tricks, Easter eggs, secrets, and more, hit that subscribe button and turn on the little bell to get notified when I upload as we're constantly finding new things in game and online is right around the corner. So hopefully you're excited because the content is gonna keep rocking all year long. Red Dead Redemption on, or Red Dead Online is gonna be crazy. Literally, like, it's gonna be great. Look forward to it. I'll see you guys around with a brand new video.